Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really fun one for you guys. It's all about Easter baskets, what I'm doing this year for my kids. So I have married, college age, teens, and tweens that I will be shopping for. Some ideas for you guys, I'll show you what I'm putting in their baskets, and also show you some tips and tricks on how to create really big, beautiful, full baskets that are really easy, because you guys know if it takes more than like five minutes, I'm not gonna do it. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I do for my baskets, just so you guys know, you can see some of them behind me, I color coordinate everything. I don't know if you guys have a lot of kids like I do, or if you're just around cousins or friends or other family members that you're doing lots of Easter eggs and baskets, but the easiest way to just kind of keep it all organized is by color coordination. If I have, I'm gonna grab Paisley's basket here. She's gonna be pink this year. And so what I'll do is I'll pop pink eggs in her basket and on her basket somewhere on the front, like the day Day of Easter, it will have her name on it, like just in paper or something, you know, say Paisley, so that she knows this is her basket. Now in our family, we hide the baskets, they have to find the basket, then they can figure out what color their eggs are, and then they get to go hunt for the eggs. I make sure all the eggs are the same number, so everything is fair, because you know how kids can be. If there's one extra egg somewhere for somebody, you're gonna have a fight on your hand. So we just do, like Paisley would figure out when she found her basket that her color was pink and then be able to go hunt for her dozen or two dozen Easter eggs throughout the house or the yard or wherever you're doing it. That's tip number one is just coordinate everything. Pink tissue, pink basket, pink eggs. Down in the bottom there's pink grass. Sometimes if you can't find the exact colors, like I'll fill with like a cream or a clear or white just to kind of substitute, but always the eggs and the tissue I try to pretty much coordinate. So that's tip number one. Let's show you what's in Paisley's basket. So Paisley is 11, so tween girl. And I have in here this little ear headband, super cute. Oh, I forgot to say, I personally do not love lots of food for holidays, like treats. I feel like my kids get so many treats all the time at school, on the bus, everywhere. So for me, lots of sugar, extra treats isn't my favorite. Obviously I fill the eggs a little bit with some treats, but I try to do things that I would, my kids either need or that I need to get them anyway, instead of just a bunch of food. So that's the way I go with my basket. So yes, a little cutesy uh, bunny headband to hold her hair back while she's doing her face at night. She needs new sandals, her feet have grown. So I popped in this cute little pair of sandals, this that I picked up. And I will link everything down below in the description box. I'll have all the links so you can find all of the same things. She also needed, like I said, her feet have grown. So new socks definitely was a must have. So I popped some cute socks in there. And then just for a little more fun, Paige loves to take baths like I do. So I got her these really cute little rainbow unicorn bath bombs. Um, I got her these little uh, stony clover lane uh, face wash, um, what are they called, washcloths to wash her face with. I love these, they're so cute. This one says makeup, this one has a cute little cherry on it. Try to make face washing a little more fun. Okay, and then I also popped her some beads. She's my arts and crafts girl, loves them like crazy. So this whole package has headers on the back side then colorful beads on the front side, plus all the string, the tweezers and scissors and everything you would need, basically an all-in-one kit to do some really fun beading. She's going to summer camp this summer too, so that might be something fun to pop in her, her little uh, suitcase when she goes to camp so that she has some fun things to do with her cabin mate. Um, and then last but not least for Pays, she's grown a bunch, you've heard me mention this already, so I popped some swimsuits in here for the summer season. Um, Zara this year, you guys, started carrying swim for kids. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm gonna show you the next basket and then I'll show you how I put a basket together. Daxton's basket, he's a teen boy, he's turning 14 this July. Like I said, if they don't need clothing items, like he doesn't need as much clothing. So I try to do lots of like summery outdoor things that they can do without my help during the summer. You can see I got him some little socks. We got him like this. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube sort of, but it makes all these different shapes, like 70 different shapes, which, you know, if you know Daxton, all this is right up his alley. He loves all these logic puzzles and things like that. His color is obviously blue. He also needed some little swimsuits. This one's from Old Navy. 
but I did pick him up a couple from Zara too. You guys know that Dax is on the autism spectrum. One of the little things, like they have their little things that they're just really sensitive to. And for some reason, Daxton won't swim without a swim top. So I picked up an extra little swim shirt, a little rash guard for him for the summer. I also found, this is so cute. I was in love with this one with this little Mandalorian Baby Yoda poppet. I don't know why these are the rage right now, but Dax will be so excited about this one because it's Star Wars too. I found this little uh, throwing motion, kind of like boomerang. It's like a, like you chuck it, you know, it has all these cool tricks you can try to do. There's directions on the back. And then we have like a little Nerf toss football for the pool. One of Daxton's favorite, favorite, favorite things since he was probably four. I've talked about this a hundred times are these plus plus. So we just got some little um, new pieces and especially cause you know, they tend to get lost over time. So these are little replacement fillers for him. Last but not least, some little rocket. You set it up, it has kind of like an air pump on it and you stomp on the air pump and it blows the rocket off into the sky and then they have to chase the rockets and reset them and do it again. Lots of outdoor playtime, summer mode things for Dax, which is perfect. I feel like for a teen boy. Okay, Rylan's basket. Rylan is, uh, she just turned 17, so definitely full tween mode. So we are in female. So that's where we're going with this basket. I started out by actually getting her the same cute little bunny head wrap, but I popped in some car air fresheners for her. A little lipstick. This is one of her favorite little lipsticks. So we popped that in as well. A little keychain. Check out how cute this one is. Little rainbow keychain. Um, this is from Lash Next Door. And then we decided to to do this JBL speaker. It like clamps and lat latches onto bikes or her car or her backpack, luggage even. So this one's fun. It's kind of a, an outdoorsy version of a fun little outdoors or a speaker. Um, she's obsessed with the Heritage Dry Shampoo. So I popped in a new fresh bottle of that. One of my latest, newest tools, the two-in-one, she's been eyeballing because she tested this when I did my photo shoot a few months ago, but we haven't been able to get our hands on one until just recently when they launched. So she wanted one of these, so I popped one in for her, two-in-one styler. Okay, these darling little fuzzy slippers and a little car garbage bag. So while I have her basket undone, I'm gonna show you what I normally do. So I just get a basket. I don't keep them every year, so I usually just get cheapy baskets. You can see the grass in the bottom. You can do paper, plastic, whatever you're most comfortable with. I kind of make sure it's nice and fluffy. Then I start looking for like, what are the tallest, biggest items? And I start layering. So this guy I might put in the back. The shoes are obviously taller. So I'm gonna try to tuck them off to one side like this. The two-in-one styler is also very tall. I'm trying to keep it open just so you can see a little pop of the bag right there. The JBL speaker can go in there too. And then with all of the littler stuff, this guy's a little bit taller, so I might pop him in the middle. Then with all the little stuff, I just kind of feel fill the basket. It's always just kind of like a play around with it until it works kind of thing. Again, I only need one or two eggs in the basket because basically just telling them like, hey, this is your egg color. The rest of the eggs are hidden. Um, and then just to take it, keep it from looking a little bit flat, I take tissue paper. Normally the sheets are like this, right? Or you literally just pop your hand in the middle like this. Kind of just make like a, almost like a, there's real, there's literally no rhyme or reason. You can't do it wrong, but just grab the middle section like this. And then I tuck, okay? So just tuck it. It usually requires three or four pieces of tissue paper. Some of them, if they're tall like this, you may not even see all of the back ones but to what you're gonna notice is just it peeking out here or there. And that just really fluffs up their basket look a little more fun and a little more giant, even though it's not. Oh, flying eggs. Okay, moving on to the next basket. Uh, we have Camry, 19, going on 20, so college age. So instead of a wicker basket, I got this little reusable, you can see metal, this is from Magnolia. I couldn't find this specific blue, so I just used white, um, like kind of silvery grass in the bottom of hers. She also has some car air fresheners. For Camry, I did an in-shower speaker. So this one actually like suction cups to the wall of the shower. She can play her phone by Bluetooth onto this and listen to her music. I got her a new little pajama set, PJ bottoms and a top. These look like peeps. They're dog toys. Those are so cute. 
her hiccup. Then because she's a college kid, I got this little cookbook that's like basically a five ingredient food prep for college kids. So it gives her great ideas for things to eat. She also has a cute little bite lipstick. Got Camry one of the Lululemon um, belt bags that everyone is obsessed with right now. Camry loves a good crossbody shoulder bag belt bag, so she will love that. And last but not least, this fun little game. It's called Pop Darts and it's basically like darts, but you throw them at like glass and they stick instead of like puncturing a hole. They just stick to it. So she will have a good time playing this with her roommates. And that's it for Camry. Okay, next up we have Brooklyn's Basket. She is 22. She is currently living in Utah, but will actually think be home for Easter this year. If not, she's moving home just a couple weeks later. So I'll probably just hang on to hers. You can see again, the bite lipstick that Brooklyn is obsessed with. She also got the dog toys. The only person that didn't get the dog toys was me. They're so fun. Okay, she also got the JBL speaker in a different color. Camry and Brooklyn are my most likely to Jeep it in the mountains or go cruising on the beach or carry a speaker somewhere outside. So they will both love that a lot. Um, I got her a fun game to play with her friends. My kids all like, love to play games with their friends and we got Cover Your Assets. If you've never played this, it's really fun. She also got pajamas and then the cookbook. Easy peasy. Last but not least, we have Bailey's Basket. So this is the first year, I should say, let me back up, Bailey and Asa's Basket. So it's the first year I have a married couple coming to Easter um, officially and so I changed it up a little. It felt funny to me personally to not do something for them just because they were married when I'm doing it for all my other kids. So I just did a smaller, more simple basket for like the newly married theme for them. Sorry, Asa is perfect. Purple. Usually Camry's purple, that's really gonna throw everyone. I did a gift card for them to their favorite restaurants. They can go out for a date night to BJ's. And then of course the dog treats for Sweet Little Willow and uh, Jack Jack. And then just a game for these two. And this is called the ultimate game for couples. So I thought that that would be fun for them to play with some of their newly married friends or their college friends that are couples and simple and easy. Their grass was kind of laying a little low. It wasn't super fluffy. So I actually just took some tissue paper. You can see where it's white in the bottom. You could do it with purple too. And just stuffed it down at the bottom. Normally I would the grass down more so it was covering up all of the white tissue paper better. This is also a great way, like when I get asked to do gift baskets for school or an auction item or things like that. Using the same general concept of stuffing things, elevating them, taking tissue paper, wrapping it in cellophane with a big bow. It's gonna give you a really big, beautiful presentation for whatever you're taking. One fun little tradition uh, my parents did when we got older and we started morphing from we're at home and we get Easter baskets to more of we're adults or were at college or were married, they switched from baskets to golden eggs and my parents would take these eggs and hide 20 of them around the house and they would put money in them. So it might be as simple as a $1 bill, a $5 bill, but there would always be at least one that had like something good in it, like a $50 bill or a $100 bill. And it was always kind of like a three, two, one, everyone run and claws would come out guys because we all wanted the good eggs. So it was running around and finding the golden eggs. So if you have adult children, you still want something fun to do with on Easter. You don't have to stuff it with money. If that's not your thing or not within your you know, budget. You can try just fun treats or $5 gift cards, whatever. So there you go, new idea. Thanks for tagging along with me while I showed you my Easter baskets for the year. Honestly, the best part of making this entire video is that I'm done with Easter two weeks early. That was fantastic. I hope you guys have a great time. I hope some of the ideas help you guys and we will see you next time. Bye y'all.